Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our third scientific initiative for ART in APEC. Today, we have a very new and a very exciting topic to discuss, which is a clinician's guide to genomics in IVF. So Dr. Lee has, uh, was awarded a medical degree in 2008 from the National Defense Medical Center, and he completed his clinical training in reproductive medicine in 2016. Dr. Lee received his PhD degree in 2019 from the Institute of Medicine, Chungshan Medical University, and his research interest is reproductive biology and the application of artificial intelligence in infertility. Currently, Dr. Lee is the CEO of Lee Women's Hospital and an assistant professor at the Institute of Medicine, Chunshan Medical University. Dr. Lee, welcome. Welcome. Thank you, Vivian. Uh, hi, everybody. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is Chen Yi Li, CEO of Li Women's Hospital. I also the assistant professor in Chongshan Medical University. Today, I will give a talk of clinical utility of carrier screening tests for preconception couples to reduce reproductive genetic risk in IVF treatment. Carrier genetic testing, CGT, consists of the identification of traditional inherited condition in a symptom patient without a previous history of disease, which may affect themselves or their progeny. CGT allows us to assess if a person is a carrier of variant in certain genes. This allows opportunity to reduce the risk of having a child born with certain genetic disorder. OMIM. This is the major genes and the disease database in America. OMIM has been updated daily in debut on the internet in 1987 and focused primarily on the relationship between genes and the disease. Until May 2021, it catalogued over 6,800 phenotypes with a non molecular basis and over 4,400 genes with a phenotype causing mutation in this field. Classification of OMIM database entries are like the autosomal, S-link, Y-link, and the mitochondria. Classical criteria established to consider a genetic screening protocol are nowadays overtaken. And scientific society are developing guidelines and the criteria adapt to expanded genetic testing. OMIM has over 20,000 unique users per day from every country of the world and is assessed regularly by a wide range of users, including like clinician, bench scientists, consultant, as well as students of this discipline. This data illustrates the central law that OMIM press in the field of the genetics. This table shows the highlight pros and the cons implanted the expand CGT in ART patients. Whether carrier screening is targeted or direct to the general population, Data show that genetic disease are responsible for 20% of newborn mortality and about 10% of pediatric hospital admission. Pros of expanded CGT are including enable reproductive decision making, disease prevention, healthy offspring, maximum reproductive options. Cons of expanded CGT are including like the FOX2 use PGD or donor gamete, even adoption or contraption, increased non valuable cost, and the discriminatory with non ART, and so on. The major criteria for a particular disorder to be included in carrier screening list in this table. First, Disorders should be of a nature that most asterisk patients identified in a screening program would consider having a prenatal diagnosis to facilitate making decisions surrounding reproduction. 
the second, disorders that could affect the offspring. The third, frequency of mutant gene should be known in the population being tested. 82% of individuals are carrier of at least one condition. 2% genetic variants, on average, are present in every person. 5% of couples carry a variant in the same gene. The high detection rate of at-risk couple and high proportion opting for pre-implantation genetic testing treatment demonstrate the clinical utility of ECS we call the expanded carrier screening in the preconception space in IBF and the general population. Recessive disease are more difficult to trace through family trees because carriers of a mutant allele do not show symptoms of the disease. If therefore appears that the disease has skipped a generation when it is seen in groups of child within a family, the risk of an individual have a recessive disorder increases when two people who are closely related have a child together. This is because there is a much greater chance that the same mutant allele will be present in related parents. Three conditions are suggested to detect CGT. For any couple that want to form a family to know the risk of transmitting hereditary disorder to their child. Two, before an assisted reproduction treatment. Three, before a treatment with donor sperm or egg. Consulting on genetic disorder is a very important issue. Reproductive health care providers are acquainted with consulting on genetic disorder diagnosed in a target screening other with single genes, former single secrecy still show difficulties. Second, concern is in genetic professionals about the challenge to reproductive health provider arise with expand CGT. Three, there's a general agreement among genetic counselor with expand CGT as a concept, but the most relevant issue they found were pretest and post-test post consulting. Dr. Guido suggests that expanding carrier screening should not be mandatory for gamut donors. The major reason for his opinion was deny the right of the donors to a decline ECS, unclear information management and a risk reduction for offspring. Human reproduction was reported about the ECS in 2021. These authors detected carrier screening of gene and disorder, including in expanding carrier screening in Caucasia individuals. For example, beta sasemia and the sickle cell anemia carrier frequency was 3.2%. Spindle muscular atrophy was 2.9%. They also detect variant detects for percentage of identical pathogenic variant by ECS on total identified carrier for each condition. And distribution of the number of pathogenic variant detect per individual sample. One variant may be about the 9.4% and two variant about the 0.9%. They also detect various details in each gene. There are different variants in each genes. We average of pre-implantation ECS clinical utility on the study population. They offer instant of at-risk couple detection and a detail on the at-risk gene. We can see the figure V. This shows details on clinical follow-up of identical ARCS. Figure C was clinical details of a cascade testing leading to identification of an additional ARC in the family, which was followed by pre-implantation genetic testing for monogenic disease and results in an ongoing pregnancy. And the figure D show details of two cases of cas cascade testing leading to the identification of additional carriers in the family. 
the clinical unit, unit, ut, uh, utility of ECS was measured by determining how many at-risk couples. We call the ARC. ARC has modified their reproductive decision and the pregnancy management have become aware of their risk status. Couples received genetic counseling and were advised on all possible reproductive options for disease risk management, like including you can use a PGTM or prenatal diagnosis and accepting the reproductive risk without any further medical intervention. A conclusive follow-up on reproductive decision was possible in 50 out of the 20 ARCS. Among these ARCS, of them, first action aimed at reduce their risk and enrolled in a, PGTA, a PGTM program. This was the preferred option for ARC identified among both the IBF and the nature concept groups. CGT is an advanced genetic test performed before pregnancy that determines the risk of having a child with a genetic disease. There are two to 5% of couple carry a mutant in the same gene. The proportion of carriers is more than one in like the cystic fibrosis, spinal muscular atrophy, autosomal receive polycystic kidney disease. So CGT offers couples to know if there are mutant gene carrier, infertility doctor will help them to select healthy embryo transfer by PGTM. In Taiwan, follow iGenomic data, the most common disorder detect with the CGT test, like the table, the, like uh, alpha sasemia, hereditary hairy loss, Duncan muscular dystrophy. This is a table from iGenomics in Taiwan. But in Lee Woman's Hospital, following iGenomic CGT detect from December 2021, to men to 2023 May. The three top common disorder is not the same. The three, three top common disorder like uh, in our hospital is like the definite hearing loss, cystic fibrosis, and alpha sasemia. The frequency of hearing loss is 23.24% in our hospital. Since sasemia carrier of infertility couple were by maybe like routine CBAC test and the following sasemia screening in our hospital. It may be the reason why mutant gene carrier different with Taiwan population. Single gene disorder are primary contributor to both pediatric hospitalization, counting for maybe about 80% of cases and the infant mortality represents about 20% of cases. These diseases are real individually, but global prevalence at birth for all single gene disorder is about 10 in 1,000. Single gene disorder, also called a monogenetic disease, are genetic condition caused by an alteration in a specific gene. There are many ways that DNA can be changed result in different type of mutation. Here is a quick summary of a few of those. Substitution. A substitution is mutation that exchange our best for another. Such a substitution could exchange a content to one that encodes a different amino acid and cause a change in the protein, protein produced or even change an amino acid coding content to a single stop content and cause an incomplete protein. This can have serious effects since the incomplete protein probably won't function. Insertion. Insertion are mutations like in which extra base pairs are inserted into a new press in the DNA. Deletion. Deletion are mutations in which a section of DNA is lost or delete or delete. What shall we do when couples were found the same new gene? Professional counselor of doctor offer complete genetic information for patient. In clinical diagnosis is treat IBF combined with PGTM. Single gene disorder are offer hereditary and therefore individual with a family history of a single gene disorder 
may be at a risk for passing the condition onto their child. This condition may have auto, autosomal dominant, autosomal receive, as link. Like we talked about the autosomal dominant, only one copy of the 40 genes is need to cause the condition. If one number of a couple is affected by one of these condition, then they will have a 50% chance to having a child affected by this condition. Autosomal recessive. This condition occurs only where both parents of the child are carriers of a mutation, not necessarily the identical change in the same gene. Two copies of the 40 genes are needed to cause the condition. A carrier of a condition has just one copy of 40 genes will usually unaffect it. They will have a 25% chance to have a child affected by this condition. About the S linking, disease caused by mute genes located on the S chromosome can be inherited in either a dominant or recessive, recessive manner. Since males only have one S chromosome, any mute gene on the S chromosome, dominant or recessive, will result in disease. Because females have two copies of S link genes, they will not be affected by inheriting of a single received mutation on the S link gene. For S link recessive disease to occur in females, both copies of the gene must be muted. Families with an S link recessive disorder often have affect male, but rarely affect females. For S link dominant disease, however, a mutation in one copy of an S link gene will result in disease for both male or females. Family with an S link dominant disorder often have both affect male and affect females in each generation. In addition, the ARC identification rate above here is higher than the more widely considered risk of fetal chromosome aneuploidies. This aspect is even more striking consider that contrary to chromosome abnormal conception, which as incidental risk increase with female age, the repro reproductive risk associated with inheritable receive disease is throughout one's lifespan, hence potentially affect couple at the peak of their reproductive potential. Inherited disease and aneuploidy, these two, both the two need detected together to decrease reproductive genetic risk. The couple with same detect disease carrier and risk are suggested for treatment by IVF combined with PGT to get health baby. There's a result of same detected disease carrier and the treat by IVL combined with PGTM and the PGTA in our hospital from December 2021 to 2023 May. There were three couples carry a mutant in the same gene. Those genes were pumper disease, deafness, and the G6PD disease. The pregnancy rate was 67%. Type 1 are pump pump disease carrier with GAA gene mutant carrier, but not pregnant until now. The process of IVF treatment is based on a woman's menstrual cycle. First, the woman's eggs and the man's sperms are collected. The doctor will the doctor will use ovulation stimulation injection and the medication to encourage the ovaries to release eggs which are then retrieved through the minor surgical procedure. The man can typically collect sperm samples by himself unless he has conditions such as allospenia that requires surgical sperm uh, retrieval. The collect eggs and the sperm are then fertilized, fertilized with EC in IVF lab by an embryologist. The result embryo are cultured in a laboratory for five to six days. If PGT is needed, the embryo will undergo biopsy and be followed until the results are available. The doctor will then select the most suitable embryo for implantation. 
Before embryo transfer, the woman will take medication to stimulate the natural hormone environment of early pregnancy to seek the leaning of uterus. And then we will use the use the guide the we will we will guide the embryo into the uterine cavity by transvaginal ultrasound. Biopsy trophectin cells were performed by micro metropation equipment and the microscope. Breast cells was fixed by left holding pipette and aspiration pipette sucked about five cells. Then spot cell junction by low dose laser. Finally, flicking two pipette and the trophectin sample was isolated from breast cell cyst. Trophectin cell or format placenta, so biopsy will not harm the breast cell cyst. Trophectin biopsy sample was three times by saline buffer, tubing to PCR tube and stored in freezer until amplified whole genome. We detected trophectin cell by our team. It is, more set, uh, it is more stable in temperature than transferred to another laboratory. OTE cell sample was amplified by illuminated vascular system and the, we used the high resolution net NGS sequence. Following high resolution net generation sequence, the chromosome structure and the copy number of blood sources were detected. Another trophectin sample was detected mutant gene by custom, my custom made group to select an affected Brussels seed. After PGTN, PGTN helps Brussels seed will warm, warm for transfer. Another part of trophectin sample was detected specific mutant point of gene. Indication of PGTN is previous affect chart, personal or family history of specific genetic disease and the positive career screening result. We designed a specific gene, ah, sorry. Prompo disease is a, gene, is a rare genetic disorder that causes progressive weakness to the heart and the skeleton muscle. Prompo disease is a genetic disorder caused by mutation in the GAA gene which provide instruction for making an enzyme needed to break down glycogen, a compressed sugar molecule in pumpkin disease. Glycogen builds up to toxic level inside cells, with muscle cells being the most affected, result in progressive muscle weakness and other symptoms. The first baby of this couple gets pumper disease. Following CGT analyze, both are pumper disease carrier, but with different mutant type, Gene mutation of husband, one is GAA0224, uh, wife is 1935. Uh, and this couple get two carrier and one unaffected Brussels seeds. Two Brussels seeds were impregnable in their, this treatment cycle. Unfortunately, she was not pregnancy. According to a survey conducted by the National Health Survey Service, the rate of congenital, congenital hearing impairment in Taiwanese newborn is 0.3% to 0.5%. About 300 to 400 newborns are reported to have congenital hearing loss each year. The GJB2 hormone ligose mutation is most, is most found in the Han Chinese population. However, Wu at the Taiwan University Hospital reported that the GJB2 homolyzed mutation is the most common in Taiwan. After screening more than 5,000 hearing loss patients, G6PD deficiency is an inherited condition. It is when the body does not have enough of an NI, we call the G6PD. This NI helps red blood cells work properly. A lack of this NI can cause hemolytic anemia. anemia. This couple get GZB2, 109GA homodiagnosis mutation, and husband is G6PD affected. We need to detect two gene mutes for this couple. We help this couple detect G6PD and the GZB2 mute. Finally, transfer one GZB carrier and the G6PD normal Brazil cyst and the pregnancy ongoing. 
what is SLC two uh, six A four gene? The SLC two six A four gene provides instruction for making protein called pendrin. This protein transports negative charge particle across cell membranes. Pendrin is produced in several organs and tissue, particular like like in the inner cells air or thyroid gland. This couple is pendrin syndrome carrier. This couple treat with IVF combined with PGTA and the PGTM. They transfer a normal and upray Brazil seeds and the pregnancy ongoing. He, the, this couple got that, maybe got the six embryos. We, we usually suggest the prospect patient or their gamut donors detect their potential genetic risk by carrier screening test. Couples may get enough information for increased reproductive autonomy and the information decision making after CGT. Consulting and the further information usually offered to provide a personal reproductive training when identified as risk. The most common disorder in heart hospital includes in the CGT was deafness, cystical fibrosis, and the alpha cystinia. PGTM allows the specific selection of non-affected embryos before implantation in couples at risk of having an affected offspring. Three couples were found with the same disorder carrier after carrier screening in the women's hospital. Those three couples were treated by IVF combined with PGT. The pregnancy rate was 67%. We suggest that CGT combined with PGTM is a power tool to avoid high risk for severe monogenic disease. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Dr. Lee, for such an insightful <laughs> presentation. I'm sure many clinicians in our region can learn from your experience with carrier screening at Lee Women's Hospital. We do have a few questions uh, lined up here for you. Uh, so I will start uh, with the first question that was sent to us. Why are the carrier rates for different conditions in CGT data of Lee Women's Hospital slightly different from those in Taiwan overall? Yes, um, I have uh, as uh, in the presentation, I have shown about because in Taiwan, uh, we want to do the IBF. We want we every patient will do the CBC test because the sarcemia in Taiwan is very normal. So before this, they do the CGT. They have do the CBC before. So maybe there is many sarcemia carrier will be ruled out by our test before. So they don't go through the CGT. Maybe that's why the CGT data in genomic is not in the Chinese population, it's not the same within the Lee Women's Hospital. So maybe this is the answer about this. So, but uh, like this patient, they do like uh, to do the uh, agenomics CGT. They found that they have also have a sarcemia, but they already, they have no. So if the patient, they only have sarcemia, they want to rule out of this, they don't do the CGT. That's my answer. Thank you, doctor. Um, okay, so we still have some time. I will go uh, forward with the second question. Second question we have here is, do you suggest all couples undergoing IVF to do combined PGTA and PGTM when both patients in the couple are carriers of the same condition? How long? and how much of their treatment cycle? Um, okay. I will suggest the old patient, they got the CGT as positive the carrier, the same gene, they to do the PGTA and the PGTM together. But in normal patient, I don't suggest to do this. But if they have to do the CGT, they found this. But um, like uh, in, a real, in real life, we know that Many, pa many patients, they can't get so much like the Brussels seeds to do the PGT or PGTM. So 
so we will try to uh, we uh, and another way another things is the like the IBF program is so expensive. So we will help to do the PGTA first, then we do the PGTM. So maybe the patient has the five breastosis, they can do like the PGT uh, PGTA first. If any point it, we don't do the PGTM. Yes. So it will let the patient has the cost down because the PGTA, they cost PGTM, they cost, so they cost much money. So we want to uh, cost down their their money. So we just to do the PGTA, then do the PGTA. Yeah. Right. Well said, doctor. Yeah. Okay, we have uh, time for one more. Um, so this is the third question of the night. What is the percentage of couples who presented a positive CGT result for the same genetic mutation, according to your experience? Mm, in our in my presentation, I've talked about maybe uh, we we collect maybe the like one hundred thirty patient to do the PGT, uh, CGT, and maybe the the same, and they have the same dream maybe about the two. Um, I I remember it's three percent, maybe three percent have the same dream together the same. So maybe it's not so high, but it still have a chance. So uh, I suggest. If you want to do the CGT, you can do like uh, from uh, from the mother. It can do the blood test, and then if the mother has the CGT, like the carrier, very important. So we can ask uh, her husband to do the CGT, and maybe it will not the cost so high. And uh, maybe if the 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 mother they don't have any CGT carrier. They can save money to the to the to her husband. Yeah, that's my thing. Very interesting. Thank you for sharing these numbers with us, Dr. Lee. And thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you. Thank so, you, Vivian. 